So, I want to start off this video lesson with explaining some of my process. Nobody's really asked, but I, I do see many people asking other people. So I have a here a uh, manual grinder for coffee beans, roasted coffee beans. This is a gift from my lovely partner, thank you. When we're born, the doctor delivering you asks whether your preference would be to be left-handed or, or right-handed. And at that moment, your, your choice creates your destiny. So how I like to begin my day is by balancing my preferences. If you don't have a manual coffee grinder, go, go out and buy one, even if you don't drink coffee. So there we go. I like to start my day with drugs. In this case, I like to, I mean uh, caffeine. And today's lesson, as I, I will probably put in the title, is uh, how to draw authentic Japanese animation, as it says in the sleeve here. How to draw Japanese authentic animation. Uh, in, in future videos, I will speak more about my my credentials my background today let's get to it let's get straight to the lesson i'm gonna be teaching from this book i picked up from the library used book sale once a year book sale i bought this uh for 50 cents uh, it's titled anime mania and earlier i i turned to a random page and and, and Found a great image, thought this would be perfect. Yeah. So here's the image. Good. Cheerleader. Hey. One of these characters has to show a little school spirit around here. And this gal's the one. Neatly groomed, squeaky clean, and bright eyed, the cheerleader is a popular student among her classmates. She has lots of friends with whom she discusses every little thing that happens to her or to anyone else. She takes everything personally, especially in the area of relationships. Profound. Wow. So, a little later on in the book, we have this little guy here. Pretty cute. One ego trying this. Draw this guy too. Yeah, yeah. draw him. Draw him. Draw him. Man, I'm okay. So here we go. Reading from the index. Build your building your vocabulary is really important. Uh, when you want to draw authentic Japanese animation or impress your uh, friends whether you're in the illustration manga comic movie VFX world whatever 
when you say some of these words, they'll think you know some things. And they'll trust you. Okay, this man's name is Mihai, Chicksent Mihai, uh, author and psychologist. Uh, often credited with this concept of flow. Uh, in this context, flow here is all about uh, creating the movement with a small sketch lines of said cheerleader. Choose yellow because um, it's not going to be really Asian, but I, you know, I don't know. It's light. It's primary to my my charcoal sketching, and um, here. Here I am outlining the flow with uh, simple lines, yellow. Notice the curvature of each segment and articulation. Um, yeah, everyone knows about uh, drawing a fencing helmet for, for the head and then handles for pigtails. So, um, <clears throat> Moving on, uh, this is the second layer in Procreate. So if you're not using a digital app or program and you're drawing with pencil and uh, paper, then then why? Possibly a future lesson two. Lesson two. Changing the opacity. What have, what else have I done here that you don't know? Here we go. Ailer Moon. Sword. Tomboyish loner. Tsunami. Here I'm gonna bring up a, a sketch because I was not really successful sketching her face on an iPad Pro, so I took out a piece of paper quickly sketched uh, with a pencil and took a photo, transferred it onto iPad, opened it up in Procreate here. Now I'm tracing over. Um, what the hell are these circles doing while well, I'm uh, around her eyes and mouth? Well, uh, you say, this, these are, are somewhat mistakes that I thought I can correct or they're actually corrections um, so I turned her into a clown because this eight second sketch was not satisfactory oh these blue oh look at this look see how fast I I'm working here and and filling those big circles up with blue as if she She's fascinated with the Smurf world, and um, but they really just belong to to that iris section of her eyeball. And okay, lipstick. Look at her. Look at her apply lipstick. If I if you could stand in in her shoes for a minute, um, and and just say, oh, I don't, I don't know about this lipstick. Is this the right color? Just like what we're doing right now. You know, testing, right? testing, we have a palette right in front of us. We can choose whatever we want in this life, whatever color we want to see. So, I'll, I'll forget the lipstick. I'll just do a fill. Oh, is this a clown nose? Oh, no. Looks like something else. Um, oh, there we go. Skin tone is so important. But I don't know how. To really teach you that because I don't know how to do it myself so I just picked like brown because or orangey brown like you know when I come back from Mexico or something here we go save that exported it to my images or photo album and on the iPad reopened it in my initial sketch and there use the adjust tool to resize it and place it over my 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 cheerleader sketch so you know I instead of just changing the canvas size 
on and off all the time. I hey, ooh, I had to erase some of that white background because I saved the image with the background color rather than transparent. So here we go. Saved. This is the final image almost, I think. Um, be proud of your work. Uh, I'm pr very proud of this. Very proud of it. Oh, these are credits to the Oracle Perry cards that helped me along the way. Thank you. Watch more later.